What's up, everybody? I'm Jay Got with a comparison video. This goes shouts out to Miss K from Soldiers That Game. She just put a video up not too long ago saying that she got an Apple TV 3. I responded back, say, hey, I got the Apple TV 3 and the Roku 3, and I'd like to do, do a comparison video to show the difference between the two. I'd like the Roku 3 personally, but this is the reason why I like the Roku 3 over the Apple TV 3. So right now we're going through the Apple TV 3's Netflix app and showing, you know, how basically how basic it, basic it looks. <laughs> it's real real s simple, I guess, but it's not up to date either. Is This app's been the same. This one and the Hulu apps have looked the same since launch. I think Hulu changed a little bit, but not much. But to me, it's kind of sad that my phone's version of these apps that are on Apple TV 3 or better from the phone versus actual uh, streaming streaming box. And uh, I don't know why it's like that, but it just is. Um, it's just real strange. You know, I guess getting in touch with Apple is going to be damn near impossible, you know. But um, the the streaming box has the cool stuff. It still has the, you know, the iTunes video uh, and movie, you know, apps there. So if you want to rent a movie or buy, you know, buy a movie or music, you can do that. Um it has, uh, I guess, its own DLNA support for the my computer. Um, I don't have an Apple computer, though, but I'm pretty sure it works with iTunes. You just have iTunes open, and it can go ahead and uh, pull videos from that. But I'm pretty sure the videos got to be formatted in MP4 format because that's what Apple uses to read its videos. So now we're going to uh, go to my Roku 3, which I have in my bedroom. And uh, granted, yeah, I should apologize already for the video quality. I didn't zoom in or anything. I'm using my GoPro to do all this. But anyway, so we're going to pull up the uh, Netflix app on it as well. As you can see already, the Netflix app looks more up to date. This is something you're more familiar with that's uh, on the consoles, I guess you can say. Uh, I know the PS4, PS3 had that. I'm pretty sure the Xbox One and 360 have it as well. And the Wii uh, as well. So these, this interface is more up to date, is more appealing to the to the eye. Um, I know my smart TV has the exact same view for the Netflix and the Hulu app. They both look the same. They're more up to date, um, and that were that that's one thing I'll draw the line at. It's like I don't know if these companies are paying more attention to these other apps on these. These I mean, sorry, I don't know if Netflix and Hulu and companies like that pay attention to these devices for Apple TV or. Maybe it's 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 some I don't know it, it's got it's it doesn't make sense you know and um, as you can see this is the uh, right now I'm going to show you the Plex player which is the DLNA app I use on um, the Roku box uh, as you can see my P it's connected to my PC my PC is off right now or this is it's asleep actually but the app will actually turn my PC on from sleep now it takes a little bit of time you know and this version of the Plex player. It works the same as the official one, but this is a user-based made one. Uh, some user, somebody created it, and the Roku allows that. They allowed the users to create their own apps. You know what I mean? They're not official; they're unofficial. But it works the same as the Plex, and it's free. So I'd rather just use this <laughs> than pay for it. You know, just to stream stuff on my computer. The only thing is, it takes a little bit of time to initiate. Obviously, because the computer has to be on to turn itself on, get its you know get its bells and whistles moving. You know, and connect to the network and things like that. And, as you can see, I'm able to stream uh, video content from my PC, which is pretty neat. I'm pretty sure Apple TV does the exact same thing, maybe in the same nature, but I, I really don't know. You know, I never actually tried it fully because I was just disappointed in the Apple TV's app in general. But as you can see, my computer did turn on, like I said earlier. Now, um, I'm going to show you the YouTube app. Um, let me just go ahead and scroll to that right quick. I'm going to show you how different... YouTube app is for Roku 3 versus the um, Apple TV 3. The interface itself looks different. Um, it looks, you know, it's kind of plain Jane, you know, not, it's not the website though, but it's close enough, you know. And um, what I like about it is that you can uh, connect your phone to the app itself, you know, um, it has a little TV box on it. You really can't see it from my phone, but just that's when I'm hidden. <laughs> also, what I like the fact that you can queue videos a whole lot easier this way. Now, the only thing is you just hit, the, you know, click on the video or press the video and hit play. 
and it says another video you want to watch too. Well, you hit on that video and then you hit Q. You hit, you can play it, meaning you can stop what you're watching currently and play that new one, or you just queue it up. You can queue as many videos as you want, and it'll play them next. You know, it'll play the video next, or you hit the arrow, like the next arrow or, or back arrow, to watch the next video or previous video. The Apple TV 3 doesn't have that. I really don't understand why it doesn't have that, which is so weird. So. I know you have, it has the AirPlay feature, so now I'm gonna just continue the video I was watching earlier on the Apple TV 3 to show that it does have similar features though, but the, Apple, the Roku does it just better. I mean, I, I don't I have no other way of explaining it. And this is where I think Apple dropped the ball. I don't understand why their device is not as um, innovative with its own counterpart. I guess it's, 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 I guess its own ecosystem not is not it's not as intuitive as I thought it would be. It's kind of sad. I mean, but that's all I gotta say on this. Um, I don't want to make it into a long drawn review comparison. This is real quick. This is little little snippets, you know. But uh, Miss K, of course, yeah. Any questions? Definitely, I'll answer those um, without a shadow of a doubt. You know, I'll answer the best I can. Uh, you're good people, you know. And um, I just wanted to show you this real quick. Also, you know, I'm a real car buff. I mean, who does this? Who keeps rims in their house? 